For all film related interviews, reviews, and content, please like and subscribe to Pooja Talwar. You can also follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. PT meet PT. Palak Tiwari meet Pooja Talwar. Hum dono ki niche se same hai. I know, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> so, Palak, firstly, let me congratulate you. I mean, you are actually the most sought after, the most popular. and i would say the most wanted ki listni hoti hai i mean new comer i must say that how is it being palak tiwari firstly thank you so much those are, those are all really kind words from pt to pt <laughs> but um it it feels uh, fantastic you know i mean i think it's a dream come true i wouldn't say that i'm uh, like i've made it at all i have so much to do and like such a long way to go but it's so nice that i'm getting appreciated so early on it's it's really a blessing it's awesome with your song bijli bijli i can't tell you i mean though it came during the times that it did come i mean it's been blaring everywhere log har bande ki reel mein har bande ki story mein hai shaadiyon mein play ho raha hai and it's got some 361 million views yeah. Yeah. i mean it's nobody can seem to get enough of the song and i'm sure lot of people must have told you palak sach mein tum music video ke sath debut debut karna chahti ho film kyun nahi was it a gamble and it paid off beautifully yeah you know it would have been a gamble if it would have been literally anybody else other than hardy and that team but since it was hardy and it was you know there it was desi melodies and arvind sir and jani and deepa it was such a safe bet you know yes. i think i knew that this song was going to be fantastic because hardy I and mean, hardy's voice makes everything magic So I mean I'm just so I I'm just lucky that out of everyone that they could have gone for they chose me. I think that's that's the most uh, humbling and the most beautiful part of it for me. You do realize you're going to be called the bigly bigly girl for a very long time. Wo har ek gaana attach ho jata hai na ek bande ke sath like Madhuri Dikshit still is a ek do teen girl. Jitne bhi kar lo aur wo No I do realize that and before I realize that Hardy already told me he would do it now you get comfortable with being called Bijli because I think this and he said said exactly this more better actually he said that you're going to be called Bijli for a very long time now so I was like okay I'm, I'm happy with it Honestly and uske baad aaya mangta hai kya I mean Rangila it was such a rage that song so what yeah. was it like did you watch the original you know getting into the footsteps of Urmila Matondkar because I think she did a fab job Yeah, I mean, needless to say, I definitely did see the original. I mean, it's iconic, you know, especially for a kid that's that wants to be an actor. I think Vanilla is on your must-watch list. And uh, I mean, yeah, you're right. Urmila Ma'am was a dream, and I mean, Amir Sir is fantastic in everything that he does. So yeah, it was those were definitely really big shoes to fill. But once you realize that, you know, you're not really crippling that memory for anyone. You're making a new, um, you're making a new version, and ours was very a very different, super contrasting from the original. I think that really uh, helped me feel better about. And you know, as I said, the most sought after, the most photographed. Also, your social media presence is very, very strong. How is it tough being a, you know, I would say, an aspiring actor in this time, these times? Because everything, you know, your mom's generation and the one before that, none of us can grasp numbers and being there all the time. your generation has to be seen all the time what is it like dealing with this so it's, young uh, but i'm yeah i would say it's a little like it's it's tricky for sure you know because you're not just seen on screen you have to maintain a thing on instagram you have to maintain a thing in the way that you're seen by the media when they pap you so those are hmm. three things that you i mean you would want them to align but many of times it's very difficult to you know keep it in the same line like suppose I'm, the person that I am when you talk to me is very different than the person that I am, or you might perceive me to be when you see my Instagram. You know, so that is something that you know you kind of need to get a hold on. But other than that, I feel like if anything, this is the generation that is receiving the most criticism of all. I mean, criticism has always been there, but out of everything, ours reaches us very yeah. directly. and very publicly and i think that's the most tricky part of it but everything else is wonderful because i think this is what every little girl wants to do you know like we see in every town stuff but it's 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 wonderful but also you need to develop a very thick skin you know sure. because because aajkal to 
हर बंदा क्रिटिक है हर बंदा का एक ओपिनियन है आप क्या पहनी हो आप क्या नहीं पहनी हो आज आप कैसी लग रही हो हाउ डज वन डील विद दैट पलक you know it's not that that someone has said something is that someone has said something and then a news that a media outlet has validated it by be- making it general news headline that is what's hard because you know i am someone that doesn't pay attention to it i do not like many a times i do i don't even read my comments you know i don't pay attention to it i would have never known if it was an actual news so if anything yeah. i think i think the media kind of you know giving it so much attention is what makes it tougher but i realize everyone's doing their job so i can't really complain there but yeah i think that's the toughest part of it and you definitely do need thick skin but at the same time i think uh, there is there is a beautiful side to it as well you know you do see what your audience wants and it's it's i mean we all always get the con the pro is that you feel very connected to the people that love you and as much as they can you know abuse you and bash you and uh, belabor you they can also give you their love and their blessings very directly and that's the part of it that i try to focus on you know because there's so many people that say these wonderful things also and and that is a very good experience i have seen you from the time that you know you're a little girl because you know your mom ha- has been working for like years and she's a self made person you know who just yeah. built mm-hmm. up all for herself but having grown up in the spotlight there is a lot more scrutiny because being the daughter of who you are sometimes it's fair sometimes it's a little unfair so had you braced yourself for that this is going to be it and how does one deal with it because aane se pehle hi wo fit logon ke vichar aur unki debate shuru ho jati hai no it's something that i was very prepared for always because more than me like knowing what it's like as a kid you just look at everything with optimism and you think oh everyone's going to love me it's going to be great i'm going to like you know but then my mom always has been the person that's grounded me and given me reality check so she's told me you know you i mean you are like you are a good looking girl i think you're good looking you know but at the end of the day not everyone's going to think so and that's fine not you know beauty is subjective you are you know i think that you're talented you think that you're talented but everyone might not think so so be ready for criticism because this is really part and parcel and i've grown up seen my mom to receive her own end of criticism and then not paying any attention to it and then you know kind of like uh moving forward without paying any heed to it and i think that also was a great example for me and your mom is a very strong person because she stood up for herself in more ways than one and which i think was very inspiring for women around because if she, she can do it you know being a single mom why can't we which was very so i mean i guess you have come you know from strong stock i would say you know somebody who's led the way mm-hmm. so are you anything like her i mean that's you know the way she leads by example that is there anything that you've imbibed <laughs> i've imbibed a lot actually i'm starting to realize as i was younger i was thinking that you know i'm not that much like her i used to think that my mom and i were very contrasting personalities and i'm too more like my mama and i'm nothing like my mother but with as each year is going on i'm becoming more and more like her i'm just and you know it's like so sub, like it's so subconscious i'm just truly everything she does and everything as a kid i used to say why do you do that it's so odd you know and i'm doing all of those things now i've just become her and every day i call her and i say she's sitting right here actually <laughs> so every day i call her every day i call her and i say yeah you know i think i think i'm i'm turning into you and she's like i mean good for you aisi kaun si cheez hai please tell her that i'm a huge fan of hers aisi kaun si cheez hai she has a, she's leading a book so what she does is that she sits in the hall you know so that she has her eyes on everyone but then she puts her airpods on and she reads her book you know she reads her book you know so that nobody can disturb her so yeah she uh, <laughs> which is the one thing that made you realize man i am like my mom uh so basically i think everything so uh, growing up i used to really feel like oh you know i'm such a social person i love going out i love partying you know i love you know like because obviously when you're young you're in your teenagers you love partying you love going out you love being social uh, you know sociable but as i'm growing up i just want to stay home be with my brother be with my mom and that is the thing that she used to always do and she used to always tell me ha kar lo party then at the end of the day when you realize that you're going to be home only na that's when it'll hit you and now i'm realizing i just want to be home i mean i understand that palak 
कॉन्स्टेंटली वी बी क्लिक सीन आज पलक ने क्या पहना हुआ है आज पलक की आई मीन लिटरली देर इज नॉट अ डे दैट गोज बाय ऑन इंस्टाग्राम दैट आई डोंट सी योर पिक्चर एंड आई एम लाइक नो आई वाज अ स्टॉप शॉट आई वाज लाइक या यू नो टू बी यंग अगेन एंड यू नो लुक सो गुड बट इट्स अमेजिंग यू नो बट आल्सो डू यू रियलाइज विद द लाइन दैट यू हैव चोसन योर लाइफ इज नो लोंगर योर्स यू नो यू समवेयर आई थिंक फॉर सेक योर प्राइवेसी बीइंग इन द पब्लिक आई डस दैट समटाइम्स गेट टू यू you know initially yes it got to me i thought oh this is quite peculiar you know why do people care so much but then i try to like put a positive spin on things the way i see is people in life you have a hundred things to worry about i have a hundred things to worry about but but if my personal life and what's happening with me and where i'm going is something that you know if someone allows that to be even a passing thought in their day when they are already occupied with so much i think that's that's such a compliment you know and i and i really take that as such a win because i think okay they have no reason to care for me they have no reason but the fact that they do it means so much to me you know and i'm sure sometimes they might be a little too enforcing of their opinion but it's fine the fact that they even have opinions now of me i think that's i i've, I've always believed whether they hate you or they love you as long as they're thinking about you that's you know that means that letting their brain occupy the, its time by thinking of you Absolutely. That's that's always a compliment. It's it's an issue when they're not thinking of you, and when they were not a kushi, who cares? You know that's that's scary. You know two things you mentioned in Nayan's interview that struck me, which is a point. I have to look good. If I don't look good, they'll say, "Yeah." And yeah. if I look, if I'm dressed up properly, they'll say, "Kuch jada hi bani hui hai." So uh-huh. how does one strike a balance there? Because you know either this or either that. So as I said in that interview as well, what I have realized is that I mean, the, the people that have to be happy will be happy. The people that don't have to be happy will never be happy. Okay, because they just need a reason to dislike me. And the people that like me, you know, like luckily they only need a reason to like me. So whatever I do, they're gonna print their own impression of me onto that, and then make it their own. So I've just stopped caring now. I like you know because at this point now I've been spotted all sweaty coming out of the gym. Okay, I've been spotted like full glammed up going on set. So they've seen both sides of me now. Whichever one they like, they can take it. So which is the real Palak? Will the real Palak please stand up? The real Palak, if I'm being very honest, is when I'm wearing super baggy, like I'm wearing a sweat pant or and sweat sh- and a sweat shirt, and I have um, I do like makeup, so you know, like a little bit of like a blush, but my hair tied up in a bun. That is Palak one on one. That is me every single day of my life. Awesome. And also another thing that you said to Nan, which struck me, and it is only fair. If my mom has done so much on her own, why can't I benefit a little that much? And mm-hmm. at the end of the day, she can only do this much. What you mm-hmm. make of it is going to be yours. You know, have you faced that, and or do you expect that would happen? There would be comparisons. At the end of the day, you are a star kid, and oh yeah, family. I have to live up to those expectations. I think it comes with a lot of baggage too. All of them, whether they are friends in the industry that you hang with, they all have that. Yeah, family, yeah. Na, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, but you know, honestly, I know that my uh, mom is very, very, very adored, and she's like I said, she's on that place in people's hearts. Yeah. And um, I mean, I guess it's going to be a little more difficult for me as it was for her. because uh, in the sense truly in the sense that people already have an opinion of me when my mom came in the, they immediately only saw her sprained up you know and that's how they connected with her when i'm coming in now they already have their notions about me they already have their you know their prejudice and they already have these things that they know for sure palak is like this so for me to break that for, for them to accept me as a certain character that's that's the task and that's something that i think i realized much earlier on because you know when you are when people think that you come from a certain sort of privilege they they expect you to be a certain way and they expect you to be to they expect you to be entitled and uh, i mean i guess if you are you feel oblivious but i really do think that i try to give myself um like as many reality checks as i can in the day you know i really try to ruminate and think he uh, okay am i would i get this off opportunity if it wasn't for this am i doing and you know more than anything you get opportunity sure i mean get more opportunities because of my mother but i need to sit there and think is this opportunity benefiting me or am i tarnishing my mother's name by doing this because not only i'm not only just building this career in my name it has my mother's name attached to it you know so every step i take it's not it's not just impacting my career it's also impacting my mother's name 
absolutely so more than i think that's the pressure that i felt because i felt you okay, can't responsible for a person who's given her whole life true so, you know gallantly move towards a career that she's wanted and she's made a name so i cannot be the one that does that so that's yes. been something that I've i i totally heard. understand comparisons are going to be inevitable wo hamesha kehte hain acha to mummy ki tarah lagti hain mummy ki tarah acting karti hain wo to hota hai but each person has their own journey but did you always want to be an actor because i know did you did mention in the same interview that i'm quoting is 2016 aur 2018 ke beech mein i mean you were auditioning and struggling and going through the regular routine of nahi chalegi chalegi so what ha- was that phase like that phase was actually was Honestly, you might expect it to be a little uh, troubling, you know, because you're getting rejected a lot, you're all that. But I really enjoyed. I think that's also when I it was for sure. I was like, yeah, this is what I want to do because I didn't even care if I got selected. You know, that sounds as as sad as it is. I I I was like, okay, it's fine if I don't because thankfully God has been kind. I can go back home. I don't don't have to. You know, I know there's so many people that are dependent on that one selection, Jeez. and I'm very fortunate that it wasn't like that for me. But for me, it was. At least I get to be in front of the camera. At least I get to audition. You know, at least people are watching me. That just being in front of the camera and saying lines, even if I messed it up, it was such a. I loved doing it, and I was very okay giving hundred more auditions because I just loved being in front of the camera. And I mean, I had my reservations before getting there because listen, an audition room is oh my god, the tension there is palpable because everyone's like, who's she? Who's he? इसको देखे ज्यादा लग नहीं रहा वट इन दिस वन डू एवरी वन जजिंग यू एवरी वन लाइक इन क्रिटिक इन दर ओन हेड नो नो इट्स अ वेरी एक्साइटिंग लाइक सिचुएशन टू बी इन एंड देन वेन यूर गिविंग एन ऑडिशन नॉट ओनली द पर्सन एट सीकिंग दिशन नॉट ओनली इज अ कास्टिंग पर्सन सी यू बट लाइक टेन पीपल बिहाइंड दैट पर्सन सो सेल्फ टेस्ट दैट नाउ कम इन आर डेफिनेटली अ ब्लेसिंग बिकॉज बैक इन द डे वन आई वॉज ऑडिशनिंग टू यू वुड ऑडिशन एंड देन ट्वेंटी पीपल बिहाइंड So you're like, uh, but it was it was an experience that I that I take a lot from that I've learned a lot from, and 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 it's kind of you know got me into touch with what it's truly like to be an actor for so many people, and it's a very hard phase also. So I I really hope people can see the positive in it while they're in that phase. I feel like I even to some extent even I'm in that phase. Because I still audition, you know I still audition a lot. I just do it as a self test because now that's an option. Wow. रोती थी You know, that was not. It's so weird because every time someone asks me this question, I do try to think. And I was like, when was that one moment? And it sounds very cliche and might sound very disingenuous to a lot of people, but I really feel like I was born with the feeling. Wow. I because I don't remember that one minute where I was like, oh, because I I don't know why, but I feel like I've always just known. Even when I'm not known, I feel like I've just had that in me. Because I've never seen a movie as like a movie. I've always seen them as, oh, look at look at how like when he acts. I feel this way. That's power. I've always thought of it like that, you know. And to make believe is also such a gift. Not everyone has that, and that no, is what I've always found fascinating. And I, I don't know. I really can't think about a certain like point in my life. It's I swear I've just always known. It's been such an intrinsic proclivity of mine since since the longest time. Awesome. And I know. I mean, the conviction is going to get you far. I know there are offers coming up, but what are the kind of roles? I know you can't speak up about the big one, but what are the kind of roles you're looking forward to? What are the kind of movies you want to do? That I can sense that conviction and belief. So I'm sure PT sitting in front of me has had it has it all mapped up. Like, yeah, ऐसा करूँगी मैं. That's right, PT. But the way <laughs> I think of it is, uh, I want to do everything. I want to try everything. I mean, uh, I I feel like as an actor. You shouldn't be curtailed to just doing one thing. I I want to do the sweet girl. I want to do the naughty doll. I want to do the you know I want to do the I want to do the bubbly one. I want to do the one that you know has like life struggles. I want to try. I want to really challenge myself at every phase of life. Because the day it gets easy is the day that I'm not doing it right. Wow, dancing skills तो आपने prove कर दिए. अब तो एक चीज हो गई है. 
and I'm sure you're going to ace acting too. And so we have some questions for you. What are the three things that you will find in Palak's handbag that she doesn't leave home with without? In my, in my, sorry, what? In your handbag, which all my handbag. Thing. Three things that you find in my handbag. Perfume, perfume. I'm a huge perfume junkie. You will always find uh, AirPods and you will always really find an extra piece of clothing. Because at any given point, I'll be like, okay, I'm overdressed and I'm underdressed. So I always need to swap what I'm wearing. What does Palak do at duty free? I duty free. Shop like a maniac who doesn't. <laughs> You know, I uh, buy loads of makeup, but duty free again. I think people are realizing my perfume obsession. I will buy like a a lot of perfume. You know, I stock it so that I don't have to. Get it is same. This PT yes, yes. Order, order, order. Stilettos or sneakers? I used to be such a stilettos girl, but now I'm such a sneaker head. Sneakers. Okay, but what's your favorite fragrance? My favorite. <laughs> okay, fine. I I I'll say my ex favorite fragrance so that nobody really knows what I'm wearing right now. Okay. But it was um, uh, Versace Crystal Noir. Okay, uh, Palak's food fetish. My food. I've had a very proper sweet tooth lately. I've been having so much chocolate. I hope my I can't the man my dietitian doesn't see this. But I've been having so much chocolate. My God. But yeah, chocolate for sure. If not an actor, what would Palak have been? Nothing. Nothing. I can't think of any. I nothing, nothing. You know, you're such a good speaker. You could have been an orator. I wouldn't want to be an orator. I wouldn't be happy. Only I'm telling you, if not an actor, nothing. I would sit in my home depressed or something. Truly, nothing, nothing. Okay. Alaks, a girl crush. Who's your favorite girl crush? My girl crush. Oh God. I have like I have like a billion girl crushes. I find every girl like. Ek. Ek. Okay. Yeah. From recent times, I think I've seen Taras Tarya stun. Okay. A uh, man crush. Man crush. Man crush. Man crush. Man crush. Um, I really love Shankar. Chalo, unke saath picture bhi ho jayegi aapki. And so we also have a hashtag called hashtag No Filter Real Me. Hmm. How would you describe yourself? Hashtag No Filter Real Me. Hashtag No Filter Real Me. Yeah. Hashtag. Uh, okay, this is okay. Just to uh, reduce ourselves into hashtags, really so tough. Um, hashtag. No filter. Uh, do people take this much time to think about it? I really feel like obviously. No, a lot of people have no filter. Real me, like no filter. Real me. That that's palak. Like a thing about it that maybe people don't know. I mean, a thing about me that people don't know. I think what me that people don't know is that I have uh, a lot of like low days as well. You know, there are many days where I'm not as like bubbly and as like I don't know, uh, ready to go out. There's so many days where I just want to stay at home because I'm I'm not feeling myself, or I'm just like you know, because I come across people say, oh, you come across so confident. But there's so many days where I'm just not confident. You know, where there's where some sometimes my insecurities get to me. I do get over that very quick, but when I'm there, I'm like properly there. What is that one thing that you are actually insecure about? I mean, everyone it's has. Not that. That one. It's not just that. Shahrukh Khan said about somebody actually, you know, breaking his hands, and he said, "Main insure kar." That's my biggest fear. Is this? Koi mere haath na kaatte jab main ye karta. No, no, no. <laughs> For me, I don't have like that one insecurity. But you know, sometimes you feel okay. I don't know. Let me just sit at home. Let me just not go out. I don't know. I'm not looking that great. You know, they're like they're just. I mean, I'm sure every girl and even every guy can relate. There are days where you just don't want to. You know, you just don't want to face the world. So yeah. Is a no filter real me moment kabi hua hai? Is a koi moment where no filter real me moment that you've had in life or that you can recall? I think the most no filter real me moment at any given point is. By the way, everyone knows me. You know how girls are known as like very prim and proper. I am the opposite of that. If you meet me in real life, I'm I'm gonna have right now that remove my nails only. I'm gonna have one nail chip. My toenails are chipped off. My one like liner is here, my liner is there. I'm the most disoriented person ever. That is the most no filter real me thing. That I have nothing figured out. I everything is a mess. You look perfectly turned out, PT, and more power to you. जाते जाते आपके जो यहाँ fans हैं हमारे यहाँ good times पे उनके लिए जरा अपना बिजली बिजली कोई step दिखा दो क्या कर सकते हैं वो. Oh okay. <laughs> Firstly, hi good times people. Uh, so yeah, uh, I think for sure it's. चंदी करी बदलाव दें साइड में कुछ नहीं कुछ
You're going to be the bijli bijli girl for a long time and bijli girane palak aai. Oh my God. Maine hi yaan ek line bana di. <laughs> so all the very best. More power to Thank you. Thank you so much. And Peter. just be, yeah, PT and just be the way you are, man. And you know. Thank you so much. It was so okay. nice talking to you. Thank you. Nice wife. So Take care. Bye. 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 And say hi to your mom. Oh yes, definitely. <laughs> prayer now. Always prayer now for me. If you've liked this interview, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram.